Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zong Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to create and use view templates within Revit. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zong Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I have a Revit model created and it's nothing fancy, it's just a building with some rooms in it. When we talk about creating view templates in Revit, we're basically saying create a snapshot of all the settings of this particular view. That way we can apply it to other views in the set of views over here in the project browser. If we head over to the view tab of the Revit and head over to the graphics panel, there is a view templates command. You can either apply a template to the current view, create one from the current view, or manage a view template. Let's take a look at managing them first. You'll see here on the view templates window, there's a whole bunch already created for you. Architectural plan, elevation, so on and so forth. And as you select each one, all the settings that have been captured are already inputted here. If you need to, you can override any of the settings that have been captured prior, and it will hold these settings. So what if I want to create my own view template down here? And I can either take an existing one and duplicate it, change its name, rename it, and delete it. Easiest method is to look at the particular view that you're working with, adjust it the way you like. So let's say, for example, I like the way this is set up because it's got filters set up and there's some life safety line work and it makes it look like the certain walls have a certain rating or colored a certain way. <clears throat> By the way, I, I do have a screencast video on filters as well, so you can look into that. Let's say I want to create a view template for this. I can right-click level one and say create a view template from view and give it a name. We're going to call it uh, life safety plan view template one, whatever. Call it whatever you want. Hit OK. It's going to capture all that information. Hit OK. And now that it's captured, you can head over to another view, say for example level 2, and you can override and apply any template file that you have in this list. So we're going to pick the life safety one that I created earlier, hit OK, and now all of your settings are going to look the same way in level 2 as they do in level 1. So it's a very quick, simple, easy way to create snapshots, if you will, of the settings of a view and apply them to another view. Uh, it's practically the same, but on a very simplified level, as if you're creating a Revit template file. And a Revit template file is a starting point for you to create a new Revit project based upon pre-made conditions and pre-made data within that template file. <clears throat> Things such as, um, you know, the all the different views, uh, all the annotations, so on and so forth. So different ways to approach it. But for view templates, you're basically just capturing that data for each of those views and then managing them here in the view templates window and applying them to different views that you're working with. Uh, a lot of people like to use view templates when they're doing elevations, especially because they have a certain look or a certain feel that they need to um, try to reproduce. So another example would be as follows. Let's head over and open up a particular file. And <clears throat> you'll notice here in this elevation view, uh, there's a quite a bit of adjustment made to how it looks in regards to the depth and the shadow and the lines to make it look like they've been sketched out. And if you like this information and you like the way this looks and you want to apply it to a different view, say the north view, and we zoom in here, then we can do the same thing. We can right click that particular view, create a new view from it, call it um, artistic view template, hit OK. It captures that view, head over to the elevation we want to work with, right click and apply it the one that we made, select it, hit OK. And now it's totally changed to match that of the first, of this particular south one here. And that's it. That's View Templates. Thank you very much for watching.